Dad, can we win this war? Would you send me to Las Vegas to get sparked out for money? Exactly. Shane, can I win this fight? Yui? There's plenty of men with money. I know plenty of multimillionaires and I know billionaires too. Money don't thrive us. We never come from any money. And I haven't changed one bit. I'm probably more humble than I was when I started. I'll go to Las Vegas for free and fight Deontay Wilder. Because I'd rather have no money and win the title than have a 200 billion and lose. We can win. My walls ain't been breached in 10 years. And I don't intend on letting them get breached in this next fight. I promise you that. 100%. There will be no stones unturned. We're going to America to win. And that's how it rolls. If I can come back from the brink of defeat, I can do anything. I've showed now. I know what life's like on the other side of having no hope and nothing. But I also know now what it's about being, being in a good place. And the good is so much better than the bottom. The top is so much better than the bottom. The good outweighs the bad by a lot. 100%. Do you know, I'm, I'm sat here in a, in a great frame of mind. And that's worth more than any money can buy. Because at one stage, I thought I was going to end up in a padded room. Never mind be back boxing. I didn't think I was going to survive. I was on the verge of committing suicide. <sighs> Because I don't want to be rewarded by man. I have no interest in getting a pat on the back and saying, oh, Tyson gives the poor uh, 20 quid or whatever. Tyson helps people. I have no interest in getting a pat on the back by man. God says, do all your good deeds in private and you'll be rewarded in heaven, not on earth. So that's good enough for me. No problem. Any more questions from the floor, please? Well, I did promise the wife and kids we're going to um, go on a gypsy holiday, so I'll get the trailer washed down tomorrow, put it on the back of the rolls, and away we roll. <laughs>